And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Selesnia enchantments in standard. That's right, we're building a deck around the new Selesnia Planeswalker, Calyx. Calyx's plus one is look at the top four cards of your library, reveal an enchantment card from among them to put into your hand. So the, the plus looks at four cards, but you can only grab enchantments. So we want to play a lot of enchantments. And that's what we're going to be doing here. Um, the other thing about this set is it does have Satessin Champion, which is the new um, Edgewall Innkeeper, a.k.a. the new Risen Reef. Looks like every single set they print one of these where it's just um, makes you throw all the enchantment cards together in a deck and you draw lots of cards. And, you know, last time you throw all the adventure creatures, draw cards, or all the elementals. You know, they looks like they're this is the third set in a row they've printed a card like this. But it's really, really strong, you know, just like the other two cards. It's really strong. And so uh, we're putting this, uh, of course, in our deck, we have one more that's basically the same thing. You Like the enchantment decks basically get two Risen Reefs. Nessian Wanderer um, is a two mana one three. Whenever the enchantment enters, you put a land into your hands. You're drawing a card every turn, but you're just drawing a land. That helps you hit your land drops and everything. And if you're drawing ex all these extra lands, that helps your Dryad of Elysian Grove which normally you would kind of run out of lands, but if you're getting a lot of extra lands from Wanderer, then you can put them into play with Dryad. Um, <clears throat> so besides that, as far as uh, another enchantment uh, card, or another another card that um, rewards you for playing a lot of enchantments is Starfield Mystic. Um, giving all of your enchantment spells cost one less, so if you have two Starfield Mystics in play, they all cost two less, and so on. So we have, we have uh, a lot of cards, so that's 16 cards between those that all really like enchantments. So that means, because we're going to play a lot of lands, basically everything else is going to have to be an enchantment. And that's kind of what we have. We have Alcide. Um, we got just got one copy of Alcide. Not a super powerful card, but um, something that just helps enable these other things for just one mana. I like it, like where you can drop a Setessian Champion and drop Alcide for four mana, draw a card immediately kind of thing. Wolf Willow Haven is just awesome. Helps us ramp. Vanishing Light, good removal. We got Arasta, which is a really good blocker. And plus, whenever they cast Instants and Sorceries, you get to make some more um, spiders to block. Um, Nylea, making all of our creatures cost one less. So, you know, if we can get like a Nylea and a Starfield Mystic or two in play, we can start playing stuff for real cheap. Um, plus, this is a good mana sink where we may need that, like with getting all these extra lands with Wander and Dryad to like finish games out. Nylee is a good mana sink. Um, I'm going with one other non-enchantment, I guess two other non-enchantment cards. We're going with another one with, I'm going to try one Archon. Um, you know, kind of trying out some different stuff here. So I'm trying an Archon. Um, again, it, it cares about enchantments, makes 2-2 two -two Pegas Pegasi every single turn. Um, I wanted to try one, gr the Great Henge, but I could see this being like another Nylea or something else. <clears throat> but if we just have extra mana with Dryad, uh, maybe you know, even though we're not going to have very large creatures, we get extra mana, we can get this in play. And then all these creatures also uh, draw us cards. And then a couple Elspeth Conquers decks for removal and late game ability. So yeah, pretty excited about this one. Um, Heliod's Invention is probably going to be, Intervention is probably going to be a pretty important cyborg card in this format with all these enchantment with all the enchantment stuff going on. So we got a couple of those, a couple of Knight of Autumns. Going to try out a Johnny against Aggro that can gain life and grow my my uh, creatures. Another Elspeth Conquers Death against um, decks that have more expensive permanents. And another Archon against um, Aggro. Destiny Spinner, this, this is going to be my anti-flash card, you know, my anti- Flash card that makes all my stuff can't be countered. It only costs two to bring in. But I can also just bring this in against aggro as a two mana two three. Like there's nothing wrong with a two mana two three either. And then Gideon against like blue eye control and a couple devout decrees. All right. Um, so yeah, so let's give this a try. Let's see what we can do with Calyx. All right, so we're just gonna play rank today as we're trying out these new decks. We're really throwing them to the fire. We got four brand new decks to play today. Yeah, the um, yeah yeah, black has a lot of good enchantment stuff too. Um, yeah, Golgari, you get you get a lot of good removal with Golgari, definitely. But I wanted to try Calyx. Um, likely, likely if you know if the mana works, which it probably does with the two mana one three, you know going Abzan. 
eventually is going to be the the way to go where you can use black for the cheap enchantment removal and white for calyx to keep your your hand filled and all that kind of stuff i do have an abzan enchantment donation deck to play tomorrow speaking of Yep, I'm going to need another land. Let's take that. So how are we going to sequence this? That's the main question right now. What two drop do we want to play first? What three drop? And so on. Ideally, we'd want to play Satessin Champion before Dryad of Elysian Grove. Is that how you pronounce that? Elysian? Any pronunciation experts in the audience tonight. Yeah. I have not seen a resolved Kiora Best the Sea got it. It probably has a sweet animation. I haven't seen it. I don't think I've seen Elfsweth I haven't seen Elfsweth Conquer's Death yet either. All right, so we'll just go with the Wanderer. With a hard S. Elysion. Elysion? Elysion. Or Elysian? Elysian. That sounds pretty cool. I can I can deal with that. Alright, so we don't see we don't know what all those cards are that we put we've put a lot of cards down to the bottom, but I guess we don't get to see them. I'm not sure, Hawkeye. Tessin Champion. I don't think it's that likely that my opponent would play something that that I would be able to have Elspeth Conqueror's deck death exile like this turn. Darn. Ooh, Calyx. All right, do I want to fetch first? No, I'll just take up. I was created for one purpose, restoring order to Theros. Look skyward and receive the gifts of the gods. I do want to shuffle because I, you know, I know I put like another Setessin Champion down on the bottom, but I know I, I couldn't grab Setessin Champion with those cards, so I waited till after. I grab stuff. Um, okay. Yeah, we could play Tristan. Yeah, if. If that becomes a popular thing, 
play, claim the first form becomes popular, yeah, we definitely play for Sonny. I guess it doesn't really matter what we tap for mana. No, I want you. Alright, so Calyx probably has an ultimate. So it's minus seven. Return all enchantment cards from your graveyard to the battlefield. <laughs> well, not many of those. I wonder if you're brave enough to overcome your fear. Hmm. I guess that's something maybe I need to play around. You know, this is my first time. This is my first time ever playing against Ashiok. So I guess that's something I could have played around, keeping a land in hand. Um. Yeah, it wasn't something I was expecting too much. You know, just first time playing against the card. It's just not great to keep card in my hand against the Thought Razor deck. Oh, that's a pretty cool animation. Oh, sorry, Drug Wizard. I just saw Hawkeye's kind of Hawkeye's here blocking my my picture. I I just saw that. He said change the color for luck. I'm sorry. <clears throat> okay, can you move so I can see the chat? Oh, I know you don't like moving. Why don't you sit here? He's starting to improve. <laughs> yeah, Diva ramp yesterday was crazy. What's up, Marais? Why don't you just stay right here? Okay, boy. I don't really have good removal for Hero of Precinct 1. Just banishing light. Yeah, it would be nice to have the Twitch chat on the YouTube videos, but um, from you know just discussions with with people watching a lot and everything, kind of determined that it's made better just to have the the screen more clear though, and. I don't have it up. But. So maybe Starfield Mystic isn't that great. I mean, it was okay. I'm going to play a couple of Gideons instead. <laughs> There's no way you're gonna craft Starfield Mystic. See, this is a hand where Starfield Mystic could be pretty sweet. 
Thanks, Matthews, and congrats to the 13,000 YouTube sub. That, yep, that is awesome. That's all you guys being amazing and um, being here with the channel with me. I really appreciate it. All right, so we don't really need to keep an extra land because of the Nessian Wanderer. Um... You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna have them like I'm gonna play the Gideon first, so they're worried about the Gideon and doing stuff like that, and then maybe I can do something crazy here with these things. Hey, we got our first sub of the day, Insane War 31. Getting that Twitch Prime sub in. Thank you so much. From myself and Hawkeye. Uh, <clears throat> I I where is Gideon from? I don't think it's from there. I don't think he's from Theros. If you're talking about just this card, this was War of the Spark. But if you're talking about in lore... Yeah, the character. Like, was it just Ravnica? Probably wasn't Ravnica. I believe in you, friend. So I can only play one enchantment with Satessin Champion this turn. Or I can lead with that. And then just drop all of these. And more. Okay, Kithian is from Theros? Okay. Well, cool. Ah, dang, didn't draw land. If we had drawn a land, you know, we would have been able to play the land. And Wolf Willow Haven, draw another card. Let's slow this down. Alright, never mind. Maybe Starfield Mystic's awesome. Being able to play all that stuff so cheap. All right, yeah, maybe maybe Starfield Mystic's just awesome. Oh, I got two of these. Can't play them both though. Right now. Hmm. Oh, really? That would be awesome. Okay, we're 1 and 0. Oh. 
All right, so yeah, our deck looks pretty good there. Deck looks pretty good, first try. First game. Okay, guys just sitting on the lap. Yeah, I guess they're probably just blocking and trying to draw a sweeper. That'd be my guess. Change me. Land? Yeah. Who are you gonna come? You're gonna help? That's the Knight of the Ebon Legion, okay? We're gonna need your defense. So, good hand. Because he had two mana dry to the Elysian Grove. Or wait, Elysian Grove it is pretty nice. I'll, I'll try to, I'll figure out how to pronounce that more often later on. Uh, yeah, no idea yet, Denriel. It's much too early to say what kind of decks are going to be tier one. Much too early. All right, Decree, Archon. Do I want you? Maybe. I can just play you as a 2-3, just a block. You can do some blocking. And then you, not you, not not you. Don't like that you die to Bone Crusher Giant. I'm not a big fan of that. That Leah's going to be out of here. What do I think of Elspeth Conquers Death? No, probably not. Yeah, Elysian. Yeah. Yeah, I need to, I need to work on that. It doesn't you know, it doesn't roll off the tongue or like come naturally to say it like that, but pretty sure that's what it is. So I think, um, there we go. Yeah, there's the Patreon. With with all of my stuff the last month with moving, I feel really bad. I haven't, I haven't posted anything in like a month on the Patreon. Um, that's definitely something that I'm planning on changing whenever I move, posting a lot more. I feel really bad about that right now, though. Is this an upgrade, playing Destiny Spinner instead, playing a 2-3 instead of a 2-2 two -two that makes all my stuff cheaper? I don't, I don't know if Spinner's an upgrade. Maybe it's not here. I'm gonna try the uh, the two two still again. Okay, so what am I doing wrong with it? Okay, it's Elysian. Okay, Elysian. <clears throat> I 
No, I don't edit the deck list on Stream Deck or after playing the deck. Like at the end, you know, we we make like some changes sometimes, you know, at the end of the videos, but I don't change the Stream Decker because I, I keep the list the same as what we played for the YouTube video and everything. So I, do, I don't update that. <laughs> Deckmaster says it just had the one card in. Hand. It doesn't. It doesn't see the new the new cards yet. Okay. I think we're just gonna get rid of both of these. Um Nah, I just want more enchantments. So we got that one. Gotta win another one, Hawkeye. I'll seed of life's bounty helping out. Maybe I just play like one Calyx and play a couple Destiny spinners there. Maybe I play another Destiny spinner over this wolf. Willow Haven. Get some more two threes in there. All right, extra Night of Autumn and one less Wolf Willow Haven. Okay, let's do that. Let's try that. I have not played with Protein Thaumaturge. No, they, they added some of the Theros basic land styles? No, I didn't notice that. Do they have uh, do they have the card styles for them too? Yeah, I don't know what that was about. Uh, 
Um, Had to just draw the banishing light. No, I don't have a favorite new color to play with arrows. Um, you know, just just started yesterday, really today, kind of building like the new decks and everything. I do like Cel I mean Celestia's like this is my favorite color combination. This Crusader is probably going to kill me though. That's just having all these lands. We need like the 2/4 that we can start unloading all these lands. Yeah, shuffle this up. This this part of the deck is just all lands. Thanks, Vox, Vox Mortis. Thank you so much. Thanks for that reset. Our second sub of the day. I don't know. I guess if I would have Castle Garen Brigged, I could cast everything. Maybe I should have done that. I like having. I like now being able to keep up the mana for the Alcid. Alcid. I wish I could play Calyx and Banishing Light and then minus three the, the Calyx on the Banishing Light. Galax has been sweet so far. We've only 
<clears throat> this is only the third game we've played. Never mind. This is the fifth game we've played. This is only the second time we've drawn Calyx. I think. I don't know. We only played Galax the one time. That I remember. And it was... Um, pretty good. Alright, now we're talking. So, one, two, one, two, three. No, I can't do... Wait. No, I can't play Wander and Dryad and Calyx. of the stars I have strayed a punishment befitting of the crime <clears throat> all right so we have a three four double strike and a three three double strike Okay, so they're at, what, 11? So this can make target land you control become an XX elemental creature token with trample and haste where X is the number of enchantments you control. So right now we're at three enchantments. So we're going to make three threes. Well, that's unfortunate. Look skyward and receive the gifts of the gods. <laughs> well, now I don't even want to shuffle with the Fabled Passage. So I can go one three three two three three. So I can attack with both of them. So that's six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ugh. It's ten damage, but then they're at eleven, but then they also have this thing that makes them lose a life, so that would kill them. So we could have lethal if they don't have a, a removal spell. Oh yeah, with Garenbrig. Oh, I could use Garenbrig and make that cheaper by one. But I don't know what I'm doing with that extra one mana though. But yeah, that's something I could use Garenbrig for. That two mana two three is pretty strong, and it's an enchantment. That card's pretty sweet.
Oh, I'm sorry, Yeti. And yeah, K1, yeah, we'll have to see. Like, these are all just brand new decks. Um, I guess Gruul Aggro isn't, like, super new, but, you know, like, we're trying out a lot of the new cards in it. But, I mean, obviously, Gruul Aggro, just as a principle, that's not a new deck. Yeah, it's like a fair Nissa. Except for you can just activate a lot of them. Yeah, Calyx is pretty sweet. They're just such good enchantments. I need land, but that's pretty awkward. This this could just be too slow. That's pretty awkward. Especially with them having turn one goose, turn two trail activate. If I would have put the temple down to the bottom, what would I have drawn? Would I have drawn untapped land? No. That gets me more lands, but I don't think I have time for that. I don't know. That could be silly. I probably have time for that. So next turn we play like Starfield plus Ardenvale, and then the next turn after that, hopefully we have a fourth land and we can play Setessen Champion and Wolf Willowhaven. We don't have a land I could banishing light the trail of crumbs. Hmm. The question is whether I shotgun and play this thing. If I do, then I can go champion plus light next turn. I think I do. Hey, Taya. Oh, Hawkeye's not on my lap anymore. Double trailer crumbs with Goose is pretty silly. I know, none like these new card these new cards don't have card styles. They they never made any card styles with the sagas. Wow. They have everything. They have it all. <clears throat> they literally have it all. You think this is going to be the best deck still? I don't think there's any chance this the, the deck my opponent's playing is going to be the best deck. There's just too much good artifact and enchantment removal now. And just too many things that kind of shut this down.
Like, we have a couple of, like, Elspeth's interventions in the sideboard. Imagine if we had that right now. We would just destroy Witches Oven, Trailer Crumbs, and Trailer Crumbs. All right, so options either Elspeth conquers death because he uses my mana the best and we get rid of the Mayhem Devil, or I just banishing like this Witches Oven so they don't have that anymore. I think I need to do this. You know, that doesn't use my, that's the worst use of my mana. I mean, we're gonna lose this game. They had they had everything this game. We're gonna lose this game, but I feel pretty good about our our sideboard chances. Whenever we get to bring in the Elspeth interventions and Knight of Autumns, and also my opponent not have this ridiculous start with us having double tap land for our first two turns, I feel pretty good about our sideboard chances. Um, I do think I need to, to really <clears throat> help my life total out. I don't think I have time to, like, I could play Satessan Champion, Wolf Willow Haven, and draw a card. But then if they kill Satessan Champion, I don't know, I'm taking five. Otherwise, I could just play Haven plus Archon, or I could do Haven plus Calyx and have Calyx exile, like, Devil. Nah, maybe we can do this. Hoping to hit another land drop. That's just having the four so far. Yeah, because these, these decks do ping us. I, I do kind of need to get this Archon out, but I don't want the Archon to die. But then maybe maybe I should have just played Archon, because if they do kill Archon, then I bring it back with Elspeth Conquer's death. So maybe I should have just gone Wolf Willow Archon. Or I could have just played Archon and saved Wolf Willow. I don't know. That was a, kind of a difficult turn. We had a lot of stuff. It... That one turn where I used just Banishing Light and nothing else was not a great turn. We've had a lot of not, not great turns with our mana. <clears throat> hey, Pine Peace. Thanks for that tier one sub. Staying on that four-month streak. That is awesome. Thank you so much. All right, well, obviously, we get to... Um, we're definitely going to be exiling this Corvold here, obviously. Um, 
I'll choose the plus one plus one counter. I guess I could have played this first. And just see what we drew. Okay, I didn't really change anything. Escape the bonds of fate. Yeah, I hope the Demir deck is good too. It, I, I'm worried the Demir deck doesn't have good enough interaction with the opponent. Like, I, like it, it's really missing Chupacabra. That'd be a, a card I could, could really use. Hey, Darian, it's going good. not the worst we get gilded goose out of there which is pretty big and mayhem devil these are both important cards to get rid of Ugh. this one's too expensive the stars will light our way hmm I wanted to play archon and in an Enchantment, but I guess we could just go. We just go Setessian Champion and Archon. No, because then I have to block with Archon. Probably just new Calyx. If they destroy this banishing light, I'm like so dead. So much existence beyond Theros to explore. Fate has my light banishes you from this world. Yeah, I have I have a couple Mask of Girls in the sideboard of the Demir deck. Hey, comics and collectibles! Thank you so much for gifting out some subs to the chat. That is awesome. Thank you so much. Gifting out four subs of so the Wildings, um, Nightlife, Poppy, and Shaper. Welcome to the channel, y'all. That gets us to seven subs on the day. To gain some life. Hey Gomez, Leslie Enchantments is doing good. Yeah, we're 2 0 right now. Our opponent had an awesome start, and so we're likely going to lose this game, but I feel pretty good about winning games 2 and 3. Oh, that's true. I, I forgot about these enchantments, these Wolf Willow Havens. So I could put them under the Wolf Willow Havens. That's true. I could split it up. I just forgot about those. That's a that's a good a good note there, Kaios. Thanks thanks for the uh, the note there. That's a good call. And then Pick Arts also joined in on the action with that Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel. Brand new sub. Thank you so much. Oh. Uh, I mean, we're dead. Pretty close to dead. I 
All right, so we don't get to. <clears throat> we're dead before we untap. They get to, they can do four damage before I untap. So. Elspeth Conqueror's death looked really good there, though. Let's get another one of those in here. This could be a decent Ajani matchup, I also. Just that life gain. Yeah, just getting that life gain in here. Maybe like you know, maybe we just need like something that just says gain three life every single turn with all the pings they do. It's a lot of non-enchantments that we just put in, though. All these devout decrees also. So maybe I take out... Hmm. Maybe I take out Starfield Mystic. We need to keep our enchantment count high, so I don't really want to take out enchantments. <clears throat> Alright, I won't I won't play the Ajani. Alright, a lot better start for us. They have their same... Perfect start. It's the best turn one, turn two play. Yeah, yeah, I think, yeah, I think there's a good way to play this with Abzan as well. Uh, we do have an Abzan donation deck that we're gonna be playing tomorrow, but yeah, Thero Absolution. That's a that's a um, that's a good interesting one. Um, there's probably gonna be some mono black decks. Um, in the format. I don't think they're fake. Wow, double trailer crumbs again? Dang.
Oh, I guess I guess I should have taken the untapped land, because then if we draw another untapped land, I could play another Dryad. I was thinking I wasn't going to have the mana, but I forgot about the, the whole wolf thing. Calyxes. I should not have conceded early. My opponent's playing pretty slow. This They may run out of time. If we win this game and play you know, a longer game here and a longer game for game three. We want to find Nylea's intervention. Check that. Elspeth's intervention. That's the name of that card. No, it's check that. It's Heliod's intervention. Who knows? Somebody's intervening. All right, it's Heliod. I guess I don't get to play the Dryad now, because <clears throat> I need to draw this Calyx. Shouldn't have played that first, should have played the Dryad first, but at least we're going to have this Calyx in hand, which is exactly what we want. Mortals have unbalanced our world. Hmm. Look skyward and receive the gifts of the gods. So they can they can you know crack their food, pop the Brontodon to destroy the Elspeth Conqueror's death. But you know, that uses a lot of you know resources. I'm glad, you know, like we get we get that food out of there too. So I think it's just better to take that over like vanishing light or something else. We got it back up as well. No, Nessian Wanderer is awesome. Getting these extra lands lets you play a lot of things. Like, these kind of decks, you want a lot of mana. 
sure you put you put cards down to the bottom but those those cards could have just been your bottom cards anyway if you keep playing enchantments you'll just keep on you'll get back to them anyway Sometimes you'll just, you know, you'll see three lands, and you grab one, and you put two lands down at the bottom. You never know. Just, just you're putting random cards to the bottom of your library, and they could have been your bottom cards anyway. Like, there's, it's all random. It gets you closer to, to drawing cards that you scribe to the bottom. Uh, so they got casualties of war. It's unfortunate. Can I draw my my big X spell? Big casualties. That's just gonna be a five for one. Took out those five permanents. It's kind of nice, like, how you get to choose, you know, like, do I, do I want to shuffle or not? And I do want to shuffle because I do know that there were a lot of cards that I liked that I put down to the bottom. You know, like, I had two other Calyxes down there, and, um, you know, like, that last turn saw a bunch of good cards. You know, we did see a lot of cards down at the bottom that I liked, so we're going to shuffle. I could choose, you know, not to. We didn't see a Heliod's Intervention, so we'd be closer to Heliod's Intervention if I didn't shuffle him. I'm just going to play this Elspeth Conqueror's deck Death out here to work towards that third chapter to get Calyx back with me having another removal spell. Double Trailer Crumbs, like, this is really the, the card that I'm scared of the most from their deck, and, you know, they had two, and I don't have any enchantment removal. It's unfortunate. Yeah, the Casualties. Casualties, definitely. Blew up a lot of stuff. It's a good card too, but this it's the trail of crumbs that you know keeps getting them all these cards. <clears throat> so come on, Heliod's intervention. Maybe even Knight of Autumn. Something that proliferates. Yeah, like they're taking forever. If we I mean if we win this game, we'll probably win the match. I don't think they're gonna win a third game. For how slow they play. It could just be, you know, it could be a connection thing also with them. There is so much existence beyond Theros to explore. So Tessin Champion. Patterned future appears before me. No, there's the intervention, and we didn't grab a land. No land. <clears throat> Oh, 
That was a big thing. No land there. I haven't had any problems at all with Arena today, but that's just me. Um, I didn't have that many problems with Arena yesterday. I only had just a little bit. <clears throat> I can't speak for everybody. We'll get this Heliod's intervention eventually. Look skyward and receive the gifts of the gods. Yeah, no cats for now. Yeah, I mean, we're still drawing cards with Wanderer. We're still thinning our deck. Even if the cards are just lands. Um, it, it does work better when you have Setessian Champion. Um, <clears throat> that gets you extra cards, but, you know, we'll just make some 1-1s one with Ardenvale. Let's see, we still have, what, 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We still have 14 lands out of our deck. You know, just increases the, you know, the odds of drawing spells each turn. March of the Multitude sideboard to use all these lands. Mm. I don't love it. I, I think that there's better X spells than that. Like, I'd rather just have green finale. Or white finale over over March of the Multitudes. If you just want an X spell. You know, Setessian Champion is definitely our, you know, it's our Trail of Crumbs is Setessian Champion. You know, Setessian Champion <clears throat> is like the thing that we get to draw tons and tons of cards. And we haven't, you know, we just haven't drawn Setessian Champion. That's our real big engine card, and we're still doing just fine without it. But with it, it's it's pretty crazy. Street Cafe, five months now. 
Welcome back. Thanks for keeping that Twitch Prime sub going. Yeah, I mean, we're both just drawing millions of cards. Um, you know, like, so they're at 35 left in library. I'm at 33. We both have lots and lots of card advantage. No, yeah, if, if we win this game, we win the match. They can't win a game three. All right, there's the champion. They they need to find Corvold. I do not want them to find Corvold. That's the card they need to find. Though. Um, Arasta does. Could do some good blocking on the Corvold. I don't think I just play Satessian Champion right now. I don't think they really have discard. So I think I just wait. Karametra's Blessing. What does that card do? Is that the new white instant that gives the creature plus two, plus two, and if it's like an enchantment, makes it indestructible and stuff like that? Because, yeah, God's Willing is better than that card. If, it, if that's the card. Hey, Freddy. Yeah, I'd rather just have God's Willing, because we want to protect, like, Zetas and Champion. And Nessie and Wanderer. Alright, well, that's a good sign that they don't have Corvold. They're just cracking that. They may not even have time to kill me this game. Man, I probably could have gotten another like 30 seconds out of them last game. I should have done that. Whenever I conceded. Let's do this one first. So the aggressive line is taking the murderous rider. The play for the late game line is taking the trailer crumbs. off the champion.
they're a big finisher in the deck. Um, not exactly. Right now, I, you know, I want to draw it. Heliod's intervention is my best draw. Um, otherwise, Calyx. Um, I mean, honestly, maybe Calyx is my best draw. But yeah, Calyx, another Elspeth conquers death. I drew all four trailer crumbs, and I drew zero of my four enchantment removal cards. Normally, I mean, I, I drew a couple banishing lights, but that's my regular removal. Oh man, I'm sorry to hear about that, Matthew. But you got, um, but, you know, you it'll be better after all of that, though. It'll be good at the end. But yeah, good luck on the surgery. Of course, let me know how it goes. No, it, no, that wasn't lethal. I mean, we only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We only have eight damage. And they had three blockers. If I, I mean, if I exile that, they sack it and you know get get a food token. And then they get to crack, you know, use the food token. Oh no, don't kill my champion. I mean, this is getting rid of the trail of crumbs. Like, we weren't going to have lethal, but this is just. Like, we're going to win on time. Like, our, our way of winning this really. Our easiest way of winning this is on time. No, they can do they can do four damage. They could do what five damage, right? Yeah, because then they can activate. They can use the Gilded Goose too. They could do another point of damage if they need to. Yeah. Yeah, this week I, I have felt pretty sick this week. I am I'm feeling a little bit better today. But yeah, I've not felt great this week. Probably felt my worst yesterday. I'm getting a little better. Another planes? You, your wife, and your kids all have the flu. Yeah, yeah Hawkeye's on the couch. Uh, that's that's actually a blanket right there. <laughs> I need to. I could move that blanket, but Hawkeye is kind of, kind of moved this. He's like right there on the couch. You can't really see him. Where am I at? 15 minutes? I'm doing pretty good. Yeah, they did draw pretty well. They, they definitely drew a lot better than I did. You know, finding all four Trail of Crumbs, all four Witches' Ovens, all four Gilded Goose. Like those, yeah, it's tough. I wish I would have drawn that Heliod's intervention ever. Maybe we need more than two of them in our sideboard. That's that's definitely something we could have more in our sideboard. It's just such a great card. But yeah, we didn't draw that. We only, we had our one champion.
Yeah, like the... We're going to have another turn. We're not dead this turn. But we may not have another turn after that. Like, we need, we need to find... We need to draw something here. We're only getting one extra, one turn right now. We're not getting a turn after that. This would be a perfect time for Heliod's intervention. There's two Helads interventions in the deck. We haven't seen one yet. I got 28 cards. Oh, that is lethal. They did they did have lethal here, actually. Never mind, we weren't gonna get another turn. Like we shouldn't have. All they had to do is just sacrifice the food to the Gilded Goose. And then also play this other and that's two damage, and then play the cauldron familiar. Three damage. My only hope of winning is is on time. Gotta play fast. That was game two. So I don't feel bad. Yeah, you know, like if we would have got like can't feel bad with that happening in game two. Gotta play faster. Timer's part of the game. But that's game three. Like, if they're going to win the match, it's game three, and we played, like, a really good three-game set. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to concede. But game two, I mean, you got to play faster. Yeah, we're going to take that. But if that was a, a game three after like three, three, you know, if it's like 
three good games and all that kind of stuff, I'm... <clears throat> I'm just conceding. Four mana next turn, which is kind of awkward. You know, I want a champion plus play an enchantment. We're going to have four mana. Okay. It's not very likely they're going to be able to kill champion, right? It's not that likely. The team or adventure deck. Like they'd probably need double Bone Crusher Giant. Ooh. Okay, if I play Wanderer, then I'm only playing one Haven, or I can play Haven. Or I can play just just play double Haven, right? Or I could, let's see, so I could go Haven here, Haven there, and then Wanderer. Oh my gosh, that's a Temple of Plenty. Never mind, I thought that was a Temple Garden. Well, I shouldn't have led with that. Should have drawn my card first. <laughs> Whoops. Joe. Uh, I haven't had any connection problems at all. I, d I don't know if other people are, but I haven't had any problems whatsoever. Okay, so we can go... Play this. And... I think I just want to get rid of this 8-8. Eight eight. No, those have been good. <laughs> I'll just draw lands instead. I need to do it the other way around. I needed to draw two cards first and then wander trigger. <clears throat> So we're looking at six mana. Land is seven. Creature, there we go. <clears throat> That's what we needed. Setessen champion. Life's a lot easier when you have Setessen champions. We didn't have, yeah, I only had seven mana. I couldn't Nylea then Spider. Okay, you know, that costs eight mana. I only had seven. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Nylea makes the Arasta cost one less. Hmm. I could have done that. Never mind. Right. Creature spells cost one less to cast. Never mind. So that would have been better to go Nylea than Spider. But 
It worked out. We found the vanishing light. I don't know if I actually do too much sideboarding. I don't really need Archon, I don't think. I don't know, should I play Archon? No, we're at three, no right now. We've played three matches so far. Yeah, I mean there could be some kind of crazy mana sync. I have like Great Henge as like another way to draw lots of cards, but yeah, you could definitely play like a green finale or something. Yes, Archon. Yeah, yeah, they're playing in Innkeeper and Clover. Yep. Uh, this is Wasteland by 10 years for the song. I mean, so this is just the regular main deck. All right, I want to play. I want to play the Knight of Autumns to be able to blow up Clover. So I'm going to play those. They're going to take out the Pegasus and the One Drop. Think about Mono Black Devotion Shell and Red Black Sacrifice Titan and Woe. I mean, those are probably both both very reasonable decks right now. Um, um, <clears throat> I liked the, you know, we played some mono black yesterday, and I liked that quite a bit. Alucard Markov, getting that tier one sub in here. Welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for subscribing. So I know we could do some cool stuff with the enchantments this turn, but I want to get Clover out of there. Because I don't want them to be able to just, you know, ramp next turn with it. <clears throat> All right, now you're right, Matthew. Now we're for him. Niv Missed Titan deck, five color. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, we gotta do that for sure. It's pretty easy to play Niv Missed these days with like Fires of Invention and Dryad of the Elysian Grove. No, Elysian Grove. I'll get that eventually. Elysian Grove. Okay, yeah, I like the Mono Black discard. Yeah, that, that's an awesome deck for sure. Uh-oh. Turn one innkeeper. I can do some busted stuff. Where's our lands at?
It's going to be tough to beat double innkeeper. I mean, I want to play Archon. First, wish I, had, wish I could double spell, but I can't. Hey, Koala Bear. Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. I mean, Arasta looks pretty good here, too. Or I could just get this thing in play. But I may not actually have anything that's dead for like the third chapter. All right, so that's our 10th sub of the day. Oh, that's actually our 11th. So that's what, according to MTG bot. So our 11th sub of the day. So that so that gets us our 20th sub goal for our next 12-hour stream. I thought we were going to get there today. And so, yeah, so I already have it. So we're going to be doing our 12-hour stream tomorrow. Our opponent's hand this time was a lot better than their hand the previous time. Um... That was a good draw with the with this thing just letting us double spell. Hey, say moi. So let's update that on our channel. So yeah, we're gonna be doing the 12 hour stream tomorrow with the new set and everything. So let's reset that. That was our 20th. We're going to reset. Yeah, I mean, our opponent's playing the exact same deck they played last round, but our last round opponent didn't have very good hands. This round, they had a lot better hands. Specifically, they had Edgewall and Keeper. gonna kill a bunch of stuff gonna flame sweep copy it flame sweep probably So I'm going to get this Elspeth Conqueror's de Death in play. If they're going to sweep, copy, sweep. I guess they're not doing that. Or at least they just want to draw two cards first, and then they're going to kill the Fae of Wishes. Because I want to be able to bring this Archon back. We're getting this third chapter going. Oh, right. Fae of Wishes doesn't die. It's their creature with flying. Never mind. Ooh. Oh, I actually have to crack this thing now. The Dryad's gone. I was like, why can't I cast?
They're at 11. Yeah, deck list is right there. Clover costs four because their non creature spells cost two more this turn. Try to draw some, draw some lands. Or not. Or not. That was not a very good turn for me. I mean, I can have a million cards in hand, but if I can't, if I don't have the mana to cast them. We did we did double ramp, I suppose. I'd like to play the other wanderer first too. means more triggers, I suppose. <clears throat> We're not bouncing the Elspeth Conqueror's death this time. Okay, so they're just going to blow it up with a return to nature, I'm guessing. So they don't, next turn their non-creature spell is going to cost two more to cast, and it's going to be annoying for them to deal with. Yeah, yeah, we have, we have two in the, we have two Heliod's intervention in the sideboard. Okay. Now we're going to get a lot of a lot of lands, likely. There's a land. Oh, rough. I'm gonna play the Arasta because they are at a low life total, so we can pressure them. Like if they just go Chandra minus three, um, 
you know, like we'd have enough here. That's not really going to save them. Well, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I mean, I don't have 11 anymore because they gained 6 life, so I didn't have lethal anymore. That's pretty sweet, though, how we outgrinded the Teamer Adventure deck after they had double Edgewall Innkeeper right away and then had double Clover in the mid game. But we still outgrinded them. That's, that's pretty awesome. So yeah, Elspeth Conquers Death, Knight of All, and those cards look good. I'll take out the Great Hand with them having the bounce and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, an enchantment creature is just a, a creature that's also an enchantment. I know, it's, it's a weird... Yeah, it's a weird concept. I agree. That is a weird concept. That Archon looked really nice there when we played the Archon and got to untap with it. Forced them to flame sweep away their own 1-1s. One I mean, Intervention just kills Lucky Clover. I'm just going to play Knight of Autumn that kills Lucky Clover also <clears throat> instead. Good looking hand here. Wanderer, help us hit land drops. And then Dryad, put him into play. Weird mana base. I don't think I really see him play Temple of Epiphany too much. Could have just gone Dryad and then double Temple Garden, shock in both of them, and then play Wanderer instead of Champion. It's it's a better turn. Yuck. I want to get Champion in play. I thought it was pretty unlikely they were going to be able to kill Champion, but I guess that's like their one way to do it. That's a lot of awesome stuff over there. It's a lot of awesome stuff over there. The multiverse provides me with fascinating new experiences. Clothis, show me my path.
I should have just played the other lands. <clears throat> I should have just played Dryad in lands that other turn. I shouldn't have played the champion. Why does they didn't get a mountain? Just to, you know, have another red source. Hopefully no land, no land, no land. Ah, they drew a land. Only one of those things was exiled? to destiny the patterned future appears before me The thing is, is we'd be. I think we would have been able to outgrind them if I would have kept the Tessin champion around. Ooh, maybe we still can. Maybe we still can. Let's draw my card first. It's gonna be another good card on top. Yeah. Draw a card first. Oh wait, that's that's any permanent. Oh, I could have got the Great Henge. Crap, should have got the Great Henge. Uh, let's shuffle. No, we'll take a castle. All right, so I can still grab the Great Henge with this thing, but should have done that last turn. Failed me. Oh no! If I would have ticked up first, we would have hit another Elspeth Conqueror's death. But yeah! Out grinded. Elspeth Conqueror's death is sweet. So 5 0. The Jund one, you know, was my opponent running out of time. We were going to lose that. But I still I think that we're favored in that matchup. They just drew a lot better than us the, during those games. Green White is back on the menu. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I am a huge fan of Selesnya decks, of course. So, yeah, this, is, this deck is, of course, right up my alley. Um. Yeah, pretty excited about it. I. I mean, 
I don't, I mean, this is just like Risen Reef and Edgewall Innkeeper. I don't love this kind of design. I don't love that they don't, they keep doing this three sets in a row. Just play, you know, just have a, a busted card that all you have to do is throw all the enchantments in and then you just get to draw millions of cards. I don't, I don't really love that design. I think it's pretty lazy and I think it's a, I think it's just makes, you know, deck, deck building just super easy, but it's just, it's just too powerful of a card individually, just like the other ones are. You just get to steamroll so much and... I think that is pretty lazy design. They're like, hmm, we want people to make an enchantment deck. Well, we'll just put some card that said you get to draw a card. And, you know, this did the same thing with the Innkeeper and uh, Risen Reef. I don't love it. I don't love it from a design perspective. Hey, Azrael. But anyway, um, yeah, the deck felt awesome. Um, definitely could see playing a third Heliod's Intervention in the sideboard. I think that's that's like kind of like where we're at. Like probably want a third one of these. Maybe you don't need the second Archon. I mean, the Archon's like for aggro, but like our four mana slot already has a lot of stuff. So like maybe cut cut an Archon, play another Intervention. Especially like the more that Enchantment decks pick up because of Setessian Champion. So other other people playing Setessian and Champion decks. It's just like the the biggest blowout. Um, uh, but there we go. Um, no, I haven't, I haven't tried anything like that yet, Arn. All right, but yeah, Celestian Champions, pretty sweet. Do you think it would be more fair if Champion was legendary? Yeah, 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 I think it would be more fair if all of those cards were legendary, but I just don't love the design of them in general. Yeah, like the Explore package, you know, Wild Growth Walker gained life and put a counter on it, but it didn't just draw a card. Like, think if Wild Growth Walker said, um, you know, like you you put a plus one, plus one counter on it and draw a card. The gain life was nice, of course, but if you were just drawing tons of cards with Wild Growth Walker, that would have been really insane. All right, Slesian Champions. Awesome start. We're 5-0. and We're going to be playing three other really sweet decks, though. So those of y'all watching on YouTube, hope you check out all of those decks, too. And, of course, leave those comments. Let me know what you think of Selesny Enchantments. Uh, the Teamer Ramp deck that we played yesterday was pretty ridiculous, uh, if you've missed that deck. Um, and, yeah, just just uh, let me know what you think about Theros and what you're doing in Theros. Uh, you know, what cards are really exciting you so far. All right, but that's it here for Selesny Enchantments. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.